Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Brown again. And the last time we talked, session number one, I told you about junior achievement. I told you about what my job was and who I worked for. I also told you that I was going to be meeting with your class five different times to talk more about junior achievement and JA Our City. But before we talk about session two, let's go back and talk about the last thing you learned in session one. You probably learned that there are four different choices that we can make when it comes to money. Do you remember what those choices are? Raise your hand if you remember any of those four choices. Yes, so money is earned, that's choice number one. Money is spent, that's choice number two. Money is saved, that's choice number three. And money is donated, that's choice number four. Now in order to keep our people and our city healthy and alive, all those choices have to be used at the same time and they have to be used in balance. I'm sure you all remembered all of those choices, so very good. Now what I wanna talk about, talk about in session two is spending, okay? So this is a bill. Some of you have probably seen these. And this is a coin, okay? So I'm sure all of you have seen a coin and a bill. So we usually spend money on our needs and our wants using dollar bills and coins. But let's talk a little bit more about what are some of the other ways that we can spend money. So think about when you go to the store with your parents, with your grandparents, your brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles. How do they spend money? Do they use dollars? Or do they use coins? Or do they use something else? Think about that. I'm gonna tell you a story about when I bought something that I needed and I kind of wanted as well and what I used when I spent money. So I recently bought myself some glasses because all day I stare at my computer doing my work. So I wanna make sure I protect my eyes because I'm staring at the computer all the time. So I bought some glasses to help my eyes stay healthy. And when I bought these glasses, I chose to use a dollar bill. It was a little bit more than a dollar, but I used paper money. And the reason I used paper money is because I wanted to make sure that I didn't spend too much and I knew how much I had to spend. So if something cost $5 and I only have $1, then I knew, because I could see it, that I probably don't have enough to buy what I needed, right? So there's a lot of advantages to the different forms of payment that we use or how we spend our money. And when we spend it with dollars, we know exactly how much we have to spend. So that's always a good thing. Now, there are some disadvantages to using dollar bills and coins. So if I have this dollar bill sitting on my table, somebody else might see it and somebody might steal it. And obviously that is not a very good thing. So when you have paper money and you have a lot of paper money and it just starts accumulating and going all over the table and all over your dressers and your room, it's very important to take that to the bank. Okay, so that you can keep your money safe. Now, that's a little bit about session two. You're gonna learn a lot more here shortly, but I will be back for session three and we can talk more about junior achievement at that time. See you guys later, bye.